Nicely done, Carl. I want to grab on the guitar, if he'll head on up to his mic, Mr. Jerry Wilder, guitar and vocals, lead guitar. How you doing, Jerry? Pretty good, thanks. Pretty good. Yourself? You're supporting that uh, leather cap really nice, if I may say. I try to hold up my end. The Andy Cap uh, leather hat, looking good. Got it real cheap, let me tell you. Real cheap? Real, I'm sorry, really cheap. Oh, really cheap? Really cheaply. Anyway. Whatever, whatever. Let's talk about some history with you in regards to that instrument you're holding. I'm guessing you started as a little guy playing guitar? Oh, yeah, a long time ago. When how, the, uh, how old were you? When I was uh, 13. You started age 13? Yeah, guitar, mm -hmm. then bass, and a couple other things. What, what kind of other things? Okay, keyboard, drums, uh, the banjo, mandolin, um, Hawaiian steel guitar, and I'm forgetting. So I, I was pretty concertina, uh, maybe some others. I don't remember. That's a few more than a couple, by the way. Okay. Just to share that with you for you future go. reference. Next show you do when someone asks if you play other instruments, don't use the answer couple. That'd be my that'd be my suggestion. Several. You play all those things, huh? Uh, to greater or lesser degrees, yes. Is the guitar the big passion? Oh yeah, yeah. Bass is bass comes close second, but I get actually get a lot of work on keyboard stuff. What'd you play first? Guitar. You started with the guitar. That's right. What made you decide growing up into being a musician was something you wanted to do? What was the influence for you as a, as a little guy? I uh, heard these bands way back in the right room. And what bands uh, are we referring to? Oh, uh, the, the, the old bands. English, American, what? Okay, English, sure. You want the British to Invasion? Down that much? Sure, the British Invasion. All right. So the Beatles grabbed you, Cream? No, Beatles, Rolling Stones, Kinks. Okay. Maybe cream was later. Great influences to have, my man. Let's talk about what you were doing junior high and high school days musically. Were you in, involved in projects back in those days? The funny thing is that the first band I was in, my mom got me into when I was around 14, and then they had to kick me out because I was too young to play in bars. So then... You're not the first guy to tell that story. You probably won't be the last. Then I joined this really cool band called Owl Creek Bridge. did all original... I'm stuff. sorry, Owl who? Owl Creek Bridge from a story by Ambrose band leader, Ed Carlin, has been going a few years now. Uh, he wrote all the songs, and uh, it's all originals, and uh, we did a lot of stuff in Brooklyn College back then. And then, uh, let's see, what else? And I just played in a lot of bands, uh, reggae bands, blues bands. All around Long Island? No, we're talking Brooklyn, Manhattan. Okay. What would be some blues bands you've played in the past? Uh, Can you recall any names? Let me see. I played in Buttered Soul. Okay. I played in my brother's band. I don't remember their name. That was where I got started with blues, actually. My brother, my older brother, uh, he started playing after I did, but then he got into bands playing harmonica and singing, and he uh, joined a blues band, Then I kind of sat in with him sometimes, and that's where I got into blues. Okay, okay. Not counting Rolling Stones, which I don't really count. It's officially blues. But they don't call themselves official blues either. But uh, great beginning for you, my man. Great beginning for you. What were you doing? What were some of the last things you did before hooking up with uh, Big Daddy? Um, let me see. Uh, You've been in this project for about two years now with yeah, Carl? Yeah, yeah. What were you doing before that music, do you remember? Uh, I was working some of them at the same time as, uh, as with Carl, but uh, uh, not for a while. Let me see. Buttered Soul was one of them, and then I worked with a band called Swing Gold. I, oh, yeah, I shouldn't forget. I worked with Elvis Impersonators. Out in Vegas? Uh, no, in, in uh, Jersey? In <laughs> Jersey, Manhattan, um, Brooklyn, Queens, um, uh, Connecticut. Steve Mitchell is one of them. It wasn't Don Anthony by any chance, was it? No, but I'll tell you, one good gig I did was Elvis in the Round at, uh, at the, what's that, the Fall Right? I never remember the names of these places. Westbury? Uh, Westbury, yeah. Westbury Music Fair? Yeah, yeah, and it was uh, eight Elvises. And you played with one of them? No, 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 no. I was a keyboard player, and I played with the uh, the Lou Saxon Orchestra, um, and we backed up all eight of them. It was this whole show from Elvis as a young one to older. Oh, they did the whole history of Elvis from young to old. History. I got paid per hour to learn Elvis material. I'm happy to say. You were a slow learner, I'm guessing, at the time. No, actually, I, <laughs> he, he got a good deal. You're supposed to take your time in those things. I'm, I'm too honest for my. All opinion. right, all right. There's nothing wrong with that. You earned an honest hourly rage back in the, uh, wage back in those days. Good man, good man. Jerry, you're a monster on the guitar, my man. You were too en Enjoy it immensely. You uh, make a great addition to any project you touch, I'm guessing. You add a great dynamic to this project, and uh, we thank you for that.
Jerry Wilder, guitar, lead guitar and vocals. Carl Reamer, how you doing, my man? I'm doing good, Mark. You're looking good? Thank you. You're looking good. I love the shirt, man. Thanks. I love that Hawaiian type of theme you got going tonight. Yeah. And uh, I say we put you people back to work. Okay. What are we doing next? We're going to do another Bulldog original called Come On Home. Well, once again, on the Long Island Blues Warehouse, we are going to keep it moving with Big Daddy and the Bulldogs. <laughs>